Our way. Chen still with you guys here in camp? Uh, no, he's not. Not uh, not right now. I mean, something might change, uh, but for right now, you know, we're uh, we're moving forward. Just not the right fit. Uh, a little bit, also numbers. We still have to look at numbers. Obviously, with Oba leaving, uh, you know, we still gotta you know finalize or determine where we're gonna go with that, how we're gonna move forward with that. So we didn't want to uh, hold him up. You know, as well. So it's a thing of foreign spots on the team. It's a thing of you know what are we going to do in terms of a couple of positions, and and we didn't want to take away other opportunities from him. How about low? Is that likely to be a, if he goes get some experience and comes back, or might he be parting with the club as well? No, I don't know. I mean, you know, it depends. Uh, you know, they asked to see him on trial, and we agreed to it. He agreed as well, so he's been down there in trial. So, you know, his trial continues through uh, tonight. What's different about having Nelson Valdez as the center forward in 4-3-3 compared to the other games? Well, the, you know, obviously they're they're both quality players, but they're different players. You know, Oba is a player who's got that speed to separate himself up front at times, you know, to get in behind the defense. And also, you know, he's the kind of guy who, you know, wants to dribble, wants to wiggle. Nelson is uh, obviously better in the air, is more of a post-up guy. So uh, the difference for us right now is just uh, getting the rhythm and the cohesion uh, together of that whole front three, because you've also got Jordan, you know, in there as a, as a new member. So. Uh, I think they both have different strengths, and uh, we just got to make sure we use their strengths. How about side of Sturgis and, and Farfan? How are their games kind of the same or, or different, or their roles on the team going to be? Well, they're both coming along. I mean, I think they're different. Sturgis is a more uh, deeper lying midfielder. Farfan is a guy who can get forward a little bit more, is a little more creative. You know, he's spent time in college and even in his early years with uh, Philly playing more as uh, as a 10, somebody behind the forwards. And Sturgis has always been either a center back or, or a defensive midfielder. Talk about uh, he's getting healthier now. It's just a matter of getting stronger in his fitness. But you know, his uh, uh, injury-wise, he feels fine. Uh, you know, that's why we took him out for a little bit to make sure that we healed that up. Talk about these couple days preparation for the next leg against Club America. Yeah, I mean, I mean, today was just all about us getting back into the rhythm and playing a little bit. You know, because uh, we've had two days off. Because. We know beginning with today, they're going to have a stretch through through the Kansas City game where we can't give them a day off, really. They're either flying or traveling or playing or training. Uh, so today was just get back into the rhythm. Tomorrow we'll, we'll work a, a lot more on our tactics offensively and defensively, and we'll continue that on Monday and, uh, and then get ready to play on Tuesday. I mean, get ready to play on Wednesday. What's the thinking uh, breaking up the trip the way that you guys are? <laughs> It's just something that we always do. We can't fly direct from here to Mexico City. So the moment you can't fly direct between a layover, you know, you got two hours to kill and, you, you know, you got a, f a three and a half hour leg on the one end, you got a two and a half, three hour leg on the other end, all of a sudden it becomes a 12 hour travel day uh, between arriving at the airport and, and, uh, and the uh, uh, layover. So what we prefer doing what we've done over the last years in CONCACAF, we changed after year one, is we'll go someplace. Sometimes it's Dallas, sometimes it's Houston. To, this one happens to be LA. And then we'll get in there, we'll train there and uh, get a good night's sleep and then and then do the rest of the trip the next day so it becomes a shorter trip. With the high altitude, uh, do you think you <clears throat> take any consideration in regards to the players in the field or maybe get in there a little bit quicker to kind of get used to? No, if to get used to altitude takes you two weeks. So there's no there's no sense in uh, you know by the time your body you know physiologically adjusts and everything else that's pretty much all the study. So you either get there early or you get there as late as possible. Uh, so we usually when we go to altitude we try and get in within about 24 hours of kickoff, and uh, you know and then that's the you know when it has the least amount of effect upon you. But it's. Uh, it's definitely something that's uh, that's part and parcel of playing in Mexico City. You know, we've got some guys like Nelson's had experience playing at even higher altitudes, so hopefully his experience can be passed on. Is there a sense that the pressure is on them at this point, um, going on the road like you guys are with the tide score? Is it, is there a sense that you guys can kind of just go in and play your game and see what happens? 
Uh, you know, the sense is that we know we have to win, and uh, it doesn't matter whether we win one nothing or two to one or three to two, but we have to win. So, uh, winning one nothing is probably easier than winning three two. You know, scoring one goal is probably easier than scoring three. Uh, but on the same token, you know, it's important, uh, you know, that we that we don't give up the goals we gave up the last time and I think we've shown ourselves dangerous on set pieces things like that so we've got to try and get uh, get some of those situations in our favor but also play good possession hold on to the ball at the right time and and you know their crowd's going to demand that they attack us a little bit so that's going to open up opportunities for us to counterattack. Sean some interesting trips how, how is Mexico and particularly Azteca? Uh, I haven't been to Mexico City, I think, in CONCACAF uh, with, with the Sounders. I've been there, and it's been a while since I've been in Azteca. But it's, uh, I mean, it's certainly, I mean, it's a big city, a big metropolis. And, uh, you know, the stadium is obviously one of the historic stadiums in, in our hemisphere. So, uh, you know, some guys have played in it already. Uh, and with national teams, et cetera, for some it's a new experience. But it's one of those stadiums that, that to be able to say you played in it is, uh, is something that makes you feel good. Obviously, seeing uh, Quintero is, is one of the guys that they're kind of hoping to get behind the line of defense. Uh, uh, any changes when it comes to maybe the work that Brad has to do or Chad has to do? Yeah, I mean, it's something we'll talk about, you know, and we'll try and, and solve it. I think we did a better job of solving it in the second half. Uh, and so now it's a matter of us solving it for 90 minutes. Anything else for Ziggy? I'm not going to answer. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Matthew. You're the